Let's bring in our panel of experts to discuss all of this. We have senior advisor for former President Trump, Jason Miller, joining Newsline today and also Trump's attorney for Save America, Christina Bob. Welcome into you both. Thank you. Thank you. Let's talk first uh, the legal stuff here. Uh, Christina, I want to get your read. Jack Smith is saying he has this data from the phone and extracted process data that will determine when he used the phone. And uh, why do you think uh, Jack Smith is, is so insistent on that? And, and does that matter at all? I mean, there's obviously tweets that the president put out. There's his own statements he put out. What yeah. do you think this data means? Well, I think there's a lot of implications that need to be investigated. We need to know exactly what the data is. How did they obtain it? Was this done through um, some type of FISA application? Was it done through a search warrant like they did with his Twitter files? How did they get this information? What does the information show? President Trump should have an opportunity to bring a legal, I'm sorry, a, a data expert onto his legal team to analyze it and explain to his lawyers what the data actually means and how it's relevant, uh, relevant if it even is. We're 90 days out from trial, approximately, and they're now coming up with what could be a very intensive part of the defense. I think it's uh, completely inappropriate to bring this up now and pretend that the president can put a defense together in such a short amount of time. I mean, it, it, hopefully it's information that the defense team is already aware of. Uh, well, it remains to be seen, but I, I think it just goes to show that the timeline of this trial is completely unrealistic and a violation of due process. Well, um, I have another legal question, but I do want to get uh, Jason into the conversation here, talk a little bit about what we just saw on, on Capitol Hill. Zelensky is there in Washington, D.C., and Jason, President Biden will hold a news conference with him this afternoon. But we watched the president make several gaps yesterday, including one at a Hanukkah celebration at the White House. Here's a little bit. Let's play this clip. But we know this year's Hanukkah is different. It's been 65 years since the deadliest day of the Jewish people since the Holocaust. 65 years. All right. Obviously, he was reading off a teleprompter, but still didn't get the day right. It's 65 days, not years. And Hillary Clinton also made that comment this week that she's stepping in, Jason, as Biden's key player in his reelection. What do you make of all this and where we are right now with his approval ratings? Disastrous. Well, first of all, if you're bringing in crooked Hillary to try to turn around your campaign, you know that you're doing it wrong. I just got to say, uh, sometimes you're better, better lucky than good. And I am so <laughs> glad that we have Hillary Clinton coming in to save the day for Joe Biden, considering she was such a great candidate in 2016. But here's the reality for Joe Biden is that there's nothing he can do to reverse course on these policies. He's not going to reverse course on what he's doing with Ukraine uh, or in the Middle East. And in particular, when you look at things such as inflation, the EV mandate, all the things that he has to do to kowtow to the radical left within his party. So he can't change that. But going to Zelensky for my one point, something out that's really troubling. The comments we've heard over the past week from Lloyd Austin that we've heard from Joe Biden is saying that if this extra money for Ukraine isn't appropriated, if it's not funded, that that then could end up with American boots on the ground in Ukraine. Joe Biden seems to be taking his head first toward World War III. Things a dangerous policy, and it almost seems as though Biden wants that to happen. Well, clearly uh, today we'll be uh, telling and see their, their demeanor today and see what comes out of the president's mouth if he goes off script, if he asks questions. Uh, final question. I just have about 30 seconds. Christina, now that the SCOTUS uh, will hear this Jack Smith request, you know, in his uh, request, he says it's just super important. Trump is decided quickly on this immunity. What's the rush here? Obviously, March uh, is the impending trial date. Why such a rush? It's really not clear. Well, it's clear that it's election interference. It's a rush because the whole purpose of this case is to interfere with the 2024 election. They're charging him with interfering in the 2020 election, and they have to do it on a specific timeline in order to accurately interfere with 2024. But this is one of those rulings. Jack Smith is rushing this to the Supreme Court. And I will say, if you shoot for the king, you best not miss, because this is this is one of those rulings that I firmly believe if Jack Smith gets what he's asking for, he will regret it. Christina Bob, Jason Miller, always good to have you both with us. Thanks for your time today. Thank you. Thanks again.